Hello guys, it's your boy Seb MM, and today we're back with the Real Madrid rebuild. These are my settings, world class, dollars. This is my... introducing me to the fans, the Galacticos, Galacticos fans, the Blancos. I'm gonna make it all right, guys. I'm gonna make it all right. MM, this is the team right now, guys. Benzema, Asensio, Vinicius, Modric. Casemiro, Cruz, Alaba, Mendy, Milatao, Carval, Porta. I see a little bit of improvement needed. We need to maybe maybe upgrade the fullbacks. It's my first priority. Uh, they're not that high rated. They're pretty like uh, they're like decent uh, decent rating, but they're not going to grow a lot. Alvaro is going to grow a lot. Camavinga is going to grow a lot. Uh, Vinicius is young. He's good. And Militao, young, he's going to grow a lot. Asensio, he's like, we maybe need to swap him out for Rodrigo because there's not that big difference in rating. And Rodrigo is going to outgrow him, grow him so fast. I don't see any point in keeping Asensio. And Valverde also, maybe, I think after this season, he's going to switch out with Modric because Modric is like 36. I think after this season, yes, we need to switch about. Uh, see what we can do here. Quarta, he's also very good. We but Lunin on the bench, we may need a, a backup goalkeeper. That's maybe like third priority after the fullbacks and the right wing. Okay, fourth priority after two full, uh, two and one left back, one right back, one one right wing, and a goalkeeper. Okay, right wing maybe not that important because we have Rodrigo, so maybe. Left back, right back. First signing going to be, and then goalkeeper scores. First signing going to be Davis. Let's see how what, what price we can get for him. Let's see what uh, the the Nagel's money is saying here. Seb man, good to see you. He has good to see you. Let's talk business right away. Let's sit down, talk business. Thanks for coming. No problem. No problem. He's worth 69 mil, but he's going to grow so much, and it's so hard to get good the left, left and right backs are not in FIFA. And they, they don't grow a lot, and it's hard to find like high overall left and right backs. And it's a, it's a sign with really good teams, also in real life. If you see a team with good le left back and right backs, it's overall the team is probably going to be good. Because it's one of the hardest posi positions to fill. We used to have, uh, Real Madrid used to have Marcelo. But uh, he's of course way too old. He's like 33. And the Mendy is like he's decent, but he's like he's not going to grow a lot. And he's looking like elite. But, and the Galacticos need elite players. We need like uh, we need to win the Champions League with ease. We need to win La Liga with ease. We need to breeze through the competition. So I think we're going to swap Mendy here. Get free up some wages. What price do we end on here? 60 million maybe that's fair that's fair fair see you soon man now we're gonna go talk with davis about the salary great to see you both there sit down sit down let's talk wages how much do you want, Davis? You're on 83,000 in München. You're of course going to be a crucial player. Playing every game on the left back. Does he accept? He of course accept that. Five years, we want him for as long as possible. Maybe, maybe sell him a little bit later when he's uh, higher overall. Milk some of the richer clubs. Maybe maybe sell him to City or uh, or if he becomes a club legend, just keep him. How much we gonna offer him for wages? Mm, Hundred thousand. Seems okay. What you gonna say, Davis? Is that a? Whoa, that's a pretty sizable signing bonus. He wants to buy like three houses in Real Madrid in Madrid. But 
It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna accept. We're gonna accept. Just join the team, Davis. Just join the team. Shaking your hand. Welcome. I think that now we have. Uh, now we have a left back at least. Now we're going to be looking for a right back. Upgrading that spot. I'm just gonna go straight in. 100 mil. That's a little bit too much for me, PSG. You're not gonna get that much from me. Maybe 126? 145. It's a little bit much. It's a little bit expensive. Bring that down a little bit. You know what I'm talking about, Pochettino? Not too expensive. We are the Galacticos, but we we can't be spending money everywhere. Easy, 135. Let's see what kind of wages he wants. Get in, get in, Hakimi. Sit down, sit down. Get comfortable. Of course, he's going to be crucial as well. He's going to be playing every game. Five years as well, keeping him uh, for as long as possible. I don't want no release clause. If you guys have the chance, don't don't give them any release clause because other clubs like City and and the PSG are just going to pay them out. And Chelsea, they're just going to pay. And in the middle of the season, and you're sat there with no player. And it's really hard to find good right backs and left backs, at least of this caliber. Signing bonus, 390. That's okay. Join the team, Hakim. Join the team, Hakim. Shake my hand. You're going to be joining now. The Galacticos. Next player, gonna be Hadeki. The Finnish man. He's going to finish the opponents for us. He's of course going to be our second uh, choice goalkeeper. Uh, the one we have right now is pretty bad, Lunin. Only 74 rated. We need a higher one. We need like a solid uh, option if we get an injury midway through the season. Vasquez, I can't. I don't think I'm gonna give him up because we need like we need backup players. We need rotational players. It's also very important to have. 31 mil. Maybe remove the. Uh, one mil, that, that's okay, that's okay. 30 mil is okay. It's going to be a little bit hard to negotiate the wages because we have pretty little money left. But if we manage to get this one uh, goalkeeper, I think we're pretty solid. We should not need much more. Sporadic, spot on, spot on Horodeki. Three years, that's good, no, no release clause. What wages do you want? He's on 64,000 now, 80,000 plus maybe 200,000. Buy yourself a house or a car. Okay, you want more in your signing bonus. He's going to buy himself a couple of houses, three, four houses and a couple of Lamborghinis. Ferrari or something like that. A nice car. Nice car, NASCAR. Maybe he's going to drive NASCAR after... I'm just spinning off right now, but... 120, 780. This is uh, logistics. You need a master in logistics to negotiate these wages. It's pretty, pretty hard. I think I'm gonna go down in the signing bonus and uh, try to up the wages. 111. I have a little bit to go. 113. They need some time to think about it. But I'm gonna really, really, uh, what is what's called reveal to you now. He joined the team. So we have upgraded the three most important positions, goalkeeper, left back, right back. Maybe halfway through the season in January, I'm going to try to sign some more backup players. Uh, I see still our right wing is pretty low rated, but uh, I think we're going to manage to win, to win or at least get top four in La Liga. And maybe challenge for the Champions League because our players will grow pretty severely, I think. So let's simulate to the January and see where we end up. And what kind of uh, results we can get. I'm gonna just be reacting to the results as we roll through. We start off winning 3-0 against Alaves. They're, they're not a pretty good side, but uh, it's still a good good start way to start a season. 1-1 against, I don't know what that team's called actually. So I'm not gonna even try to say it. Real Betis, next team. 
we win again. 2-1, not bad start to the season. We're rolling, we're rolling. Rolling pretty fast and pretty good. 2-0, pretty good. I guess Inter, draw, not too bad. We're, we haven't lost the game yet. We, once again, we won against Levant, Malotka now. 5-1. Villarreal, 3-0, the submarines. I'm pretty mad at them still. 1-1, Shakhtar. I'm pretty mad at the, the yellow submarines still. 3-1 against uh, Real Sociedad. Pretty mad at them. I'm a United fan, so... I'm pretty glad we won against them. 2-1 against uh, Atletico Bilbao. 2-0. I don't know what that team is. The Ita Italy team are so weird. 2-2 against Barcelona. Let's see what happens here. 2-2. At the don't first loss of the season, guys. That's not good. 4-2. I think it's Rome. I don't know what team that is. But we won in the Champions League. I think we're through the group stages already. 3-0 in the league. Let's see what happens now. The away game. 1-0. Now Inter. 3-0. 0 we're rolling pretty good here, guys. I don't know what to say. We're, we're steamrolling pretty good. Simulating is usually pretty hard because uh, the AI uh, just doesn't want you to simulate. It wants you to play the games. But now we're doing pretty good. Shakhtar Donetsk. 2-3. We are on a steamroll. Now Atletico Madrid. This is an important game. Suarez. How do we do? 2-1. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're steamrolling this. Pretty soon we're in January. Last game of the season. No, last game of the season. I mean last game of December. Before the 2-0. Before the January transfer window. We're doing pretty good. Let's do a little bit midway stop here and check out the, the stats of the players and their growth. Maybe we can do some midway signings here. Okay, let's check. We're leading the La Liga. Of course, Atletico de Madrid, second, Sevilla third, Espanyol fourth by Bilbao, Atletico, Athletic Club, I think they were Bilbao, I'm still gonna call them Bilbao. We're in the semifinals of the Supercopa, Copa de España, I don't think we're even in, no we're not even in it. Chelsea won the Super Cup. They're winning pretty. We're sport, playing a sporting SP in the Champions League round of 16. We got lucky there. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. I was actually thinking about signing one of the players from Sporting SP, but uh, I'm glad I didn't because we got matched against them now. I don't think they would have made it this far. Okay, let's see the growth there. Cortop plus one, Benzema. This is some good growth. Vinicius, 87 rated. He's had some serious growth. Who's our top scorer? Vi Benzema, 16 goals, that's good. And Vinicius, second, 87 rated. Hakimi, 88 rated. Asensio, 84. Kubo, 76, but he's on loan. Militao, 80, 85. It's have, it has been some serious growth here. And I'm gonna reveal something to you guys. We're going to be re signing Ronaldo, the legend, the, uh, the club legend of uh, Real Madrid. I think it's a travesty the way he left and uh, we should honor his legacy, sign him back and make him and offer him, uh, at least offer him a good contract and uh, make him finish his, uh, his legacy here at Real Madrid at the Galacticos. He has been such a big part of their legacy. I think it's, uh, it's bad if he doesn't finish here. It's the same with Messi. He should have finished his uh, legacy at uh, Barcelona, just team rolled through. But uh, I don't know why they let them will let him go. Of course, Messi was very expensive, and so is Ronaldo. But still, they should have just stayed. I'm gonna offer you three bags, three hundred thousand a week. He's just gonna accept. Join the team, Ronaldo. I'm gonna fidget, fidget a bit with the uh, with the uh, formation, and I'm gonna put uh, Ronaldo straight up, top, straight up top, straight up. We need you up top, Ronaldo. Bagging them goals, make. Make us win the Champions League. Come on. Get us to the Champions League final at least. We need to get far. So that uh, the team is happy. I'm going to simulate to, to the, the Champions League final. Start si simulating again. To the next Champions League. I mean, not mean the final, but the Champions League game. We start off 4-1 against Gitaf. 2-0. We win. Now it's Barcelona. 
Ah, uh, it's the worst team we can we can lose against. That's not good. The fans are not happy with that one. Let's see, Balbi Bilbao, three one win. We're doing some serious work in the league here, guys. Two zero. It's going good. It's going good. In the cup. Ay, ay, ay. We are the cups. We are not playing good in the cups, but uh, the Champions League and La Liga, the, the two most important ones. We're playing really good. Let's see this one. We win again, 2-1. Let's see how we do against the Yellow Submarine. 2-0 against Villarreal. I love S again. This should be easy. 3-1. Sporting Lisboa. 3-1. Nice win. Let's Mallorca. 4-1. Is it Mallorca or Menorca? I don't know. Real Sociedad. 2-2 draw. They're a good team in real life as well. Really good. So I don't, uh, I'm not surprised. How do you do? We lose. Sporting SP. We won the last game. So I'm just going to simulate this one. That's pretty much my rule. If I win with the win away game in the first draw, we, we're going to win basically. Against the Barcelona. Yes, 1-0. Our fans are going to be happy with the winning the El Clasico. And re-signing Ronaldo. I think the fans would be very happy. Okay, we're against Milan in the... I think it's the quarterfinals now. 3-2. That's uh, okay. You know my rule. If I win the first one, I'm just gonna simulate the second one. And we won, won against Getafe and Real Betis. And we won again against uh, Milan. Oof. Liverpool is going to be hard. We won against Sevilla. We won again. The, I think we are already have pretty much won the league. So uh, the most important right now is the Champions League. It's Chelsea, Paris Saint Germain, Real Madrid, Liverpool left. Get your, get your predictions in the comments, guys. Are we going to win? Are we going to win the Champions League final? I'm going to play the final, but uh, it's world class, so it's pretty difficult actually. And for all you guys saying it's not good difficult, it's a long time since I've played. It's a long time. We win? Do we win against? Yes, we won against Liverpool. This team is so good, we're just steamrolling through. All we did also was up. Okay, we brought Ronaldo back and we both knew. Oh, I can't even talk. New fullbacks in. But uh, we're just steamrolling. 1 1 against Levant. Now 3 0. Now it's Real Betis. Let's see how we do. If I'm pronouncing wrong, please don't uh, rage on me in the comments. I'm trying my best here. Real Betis. Yes! Aye! I thought it said win, but we lost. 2 3. Let's see how the La Liga season went. Let's see how the La Liga season went first. Did we win? Okay. Come on, man. Bl do this. I want to see who won. I don't care about the Europa League, no. I don't. I at least don't care about the Conference League. That. Uh, can miss me. Oh, we won the La Liga. Of course. First season, guys. First season as Seb and as manager, we won. It's that easy. It's that easy. Let's see the growth there. Corta plus two. Hakimi plus four. 89 rated. That's serious. Casemiro 89, Benzema minus 2, Cruz plus 1, Militao plus 5, that's very good. Davis plus 4, Ronaldo minus 2, Vinicius plus 4, Valverde plus 4. Jesus, we have some G really good growth here. Jesus, Modric. Ah, Modric has fallen off quite a bit, but Valverde is going to be his, his successor. Vinicius, 33 goals. Sheesh. Benzema, 28. Asensio, 11, third. Maybe I was wrong about him. Cruz 10 and 13 assists. His passing is insane. Insane. Let's play the final, guys. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Youth player has left. I obviously do not care. I maybe do not care. Ronaldo starting the game, of course. He is the Champions League man. He needs to start. We need to bring the Champions League kickoff in the Champions League final. We need to bring Ronaldo another trophy. Ronaldo! You should have taken that one, man. Hakimi, winning the ball. High up on the pitch. Rodrigo, 1-0. Rodrigo, he's, a, he's low rated, but he's, he's clinical. He's clinical. Celebrate that, man. Celebrate. It's the Champions League final. Vinicius celebrating with him. Ronaldo in the Real Madrid jersey. It just looks right. Rodrigo, with a ship to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is through. Ah, Ronaldo, you need to hit those. He's mad at himself. I know why. Ronaldo, through to Vinicius. Sheesh, 2-0. Celebrate that one, Vinicius. You're the top scorer of the team. 
This is Ballon d'Or form here. Ronaldo through. Ronaldo to Rodrigo. That's why he sold. That's why Rodrigo is low rated. Look at those shots. Rodrigo shipping it through to Ronaldo. Oof! This is some serious uh, volleying here, Ronaldo. I forgot to give him seven. Don't rage in the comments. Ronaldo with Vinicius. It's uh, and Cruz. It's like a throwback here. Ronaldo. Oof! Doing the spin on them. Ronaldo is through. Run, run, run like you've never run before, Ronaldo. Oh, gosh. That would be a wonderful goal with the roulette and everything. Lukaku. Lukaku has a foot in it. We need to be careful. They actually had a pretty, some pretty good chances. We're 3 0 up though. And it's world class difficulty. So this team must be really good because I've played some world class game with like Northampton and stuff. And it's, it's difficult. Vinicius Junior is through with an amazing ball from Cruz. That was pretty much a setup goal from Cruz. His, his, his passing is amazing, guys. 4 0. I recommend if you start with this team, don't sign any center mids. Modric and Cruz, the first season, they're so good. They can just chip and uh, they can just pass everyone on the pitch. I'm gonna do something special for the half. We've pretty much won the game, pretty much won the Champions League, so I'm gonna put Benzema on the field. He is, uh, he's a club legend. I feel like he should be playing the, the, the final part of the final part of the Champions League final. It's only fair. Ronaldo came in halfway and took his spot, so I think uh, he, he should he should be able to. Of course, Ronaldo has to play because he's he's a, such a legend and he he's the Champions League man. But Benzema he, he deserves to be on the pitch when we win. Ronaldo through. Look at the takedown to Benzema. Benzema put it in. Benzema, you need to hit those. You need to hit those. Kante, the mount to Lukaku. That's what I said. We need to watch him. We need to watch Lukaku. His shooting is pretty good. I think it was because we switched our Casemiro. He had him on lock. But now when we switch him out, it's not like... Vinicius running through the G. Oh my. He's running through like it's uh, it's butter. He's like a hot knife in butter. Just running through the, the defense of uh, Chelsea. It's like it's no problem for him. He's 88 rated, so he's pretty OP. Ronaldo! Ronaldo's shooting is next level. This is... Uh, sheesh. Vinicius, I think, already has a hat-trick. But uh, maybe maybe it's, uh, maybe it's Ronaldo will get one as well. Benzema to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is through. Put it in the corner. Put it in the corner. Yes. The hat-trick. The hat-trick, man. Let's see what he does. Su! Su, 7-1. And that's the end of the game, guys. We won the Champions League. Who's celebrating? We have brought the Champions League and La Liga back to where it belongs, Galacticos and Ronaldo. I don't know how many, if you guys want me to do another season, I don't think it's any point actually, because uh, next season we don't need to sign that many players, so Alverde takes Modric place. We only need to sign like, and Casemiro still has a couple of seasons in him. We only need one center mid to maybe take over for Cruz or Modric, but we have Valverde, so we maybe need one. And we need a striker, and we're just going to sign like Haaland or Mbappe. It's going to be too easy, so we're already pretty much... This team is already set up to win next season. It's not really any point. Benzema, the captain. I tried to give it to Ronaldo, but uh, it was too late in the game. Benzema. Ooh, so Imagine being in the stadium when Real Madrid wins the league. That would be insane. No, win the Champions League, I mean. And the league, of course, it's, it would have been insane. Celebrate that, guys. You deserve it. So guys, I'm gonna let you watch the celebration, and uh, if you if you want more of these rebuilds, like, subscribe, and uh, let's see how, how the squad developed. How did the squad squad develop? Cortona 91, Hakimi 89, Casemiro 89, Cruz 89. They have a couple of seasons in them, as I told you. Militao 88, Davis 88, Vinicius 88, Valverde 87, Alaba 85. It's like. Is it any point doing another season? Vinicius 36 goals, Benzema 28, Asensio 11, Cruz 10, Ronaldo 9. Is it any point directly really doing another season? Like this, like this video if you want more of these kind of rebuilds. But I don't think uh, Real Madrid it's any point doing another season. Because I feel like we crushed it pretty much. It's not much more we can do. Real Madrid, we won the La Liga. Atletico Madrid second. Barcelona all the way down at 4th, 
that's not good. I think uh, the fans are not going to be happy about that one. Ronaldo, Rodrigo, Vinicius in our team. Okay, guys. Vinicius Jr. top scorer in the La Liga. 26 goals. I would not expect that. Suarez second. Aubameyang third. Benzema fourth. This is pretty good. We did some uh, good work here. Assists. Benzema third. Courtois most clean sheets. Our defense is solid. In the Copa de España. Maybe check out the Champions League. Champions League top scorer, Vinicius Junior. Okay guys, if you want more of these type of videos, like, subscribe and comment down below what team I should rebuild next. See you guys next time. Peace.